Backyard Wrestling Don't Try This At Home is an arcade wrestling game. You get some wrestlers with funny names, but unfortunately not all wrestlers. And yes, Backyard Wrestling is a real thing. This is a tying game. You also get a handful of locations to fight in and some modes of play, including exhibition matches, a story mode with cutscenes and a create your own wrestler. As for gameplay, it's an arcade game with very basic controls. It even turns into a button masher real quick. But it's fun, animations are nicely done and the environments are also destructible. There are also plenty of glitches in the game. Players can clip through objects or hit detection is bad, controls don't respond well and feel stiff, but it's still a surprisingly fun game. It's over the top, simplistic, but fun, even if it has a ton of flaws. And you can also create your own wrestler. So overall, Backyard Wrestling is definitely not a good game. It has a ton of flaws and you can clearly see that the game has issues. But in spite of the game being broken, repetitive and mediocre, it's surprisingly fun to play. Backyard Wrestling 2, There Goes the Neighborhood, seems improved at first, but it's actually worse than the first one. So first off, the roster is bigger. And now there are 10 arenas in the game which have unique entrance cutscenes. That's the good part about the game. But aside of this, the game has exactly the same problems as the first one. Characters clip through the map, hit detection is super bad, controls are simplistic and get into a battle masher, and the AI is dumb. A difference is in the level designs. The level designs in this game aren't as explosive as in the other one. Environmental attacks are harder to pull off and aren't as flashy, also there are less interactive objects compared to the previous game. And the career mode is trash. You can select a location and a mission, and missions are like this, block for two times or hit the opponent three times. And once you're done with the challenges, comes repetitive fighting. The career mode is worse than in the first game, and in the first game it wasn't the highlight of the game either. So there you have it, the two backyard wrestling games are bad games, with a lot of problems, but which still are fun, even if in reality, they are bad games. 